Hey everybody, what's going on? Thank you for being here with us on Cinema Recap. Glad to have you here. So today we're going to check out that Polish movie from 2015 called The Lure. Spoilers ahead. A woman in the water watches a man playing a guitar. He's got a few friends with him, another man and a woman, but she seems only interested in him. A second woman appears next to her and they begin singing their own song, something haunting. The men are drawn into the water by their voices, most likely to their deaths. We cut to the same two men and women playing in a band at a bar. There's an old man watching them. He seems like the mogul type that owns plenty of businesses. Everyone working there seems to be dancing as he goes around inspecting things. He finds the changing room of the band trio. But they have two guests, the women from the water. The singer tells the boss man that the girls are some kids of a friend, but he tells them that they're too young to be in his nightclub. Boss man tells the singer and the guitarist to leave, while the drummer stays to show off for the two women of the water. They remove their jackets to show that some of their human anatomy below the belt is more like a Barbie. It's kind of strange, but not as strange as what happens when you pour water on them. Two human legs turning into single tails, and it's obvious what these two mysterious women are. Mermaids. Neither of the men seem very shocked by the two bizarre humanoids in front of them, and the drummer leaves his boss to talk with the women alone. A few minutes later, he calls the trio back, as the two mermaids aren't doing so well now that they've been out of water for too long. Even splashing them with water wasn't enough, so they had to bring them to a large swimming pool to recuperate. Now afterwards, they seemed much better and enjoyed some snacks and pretzel sticks. The brunette's name is Golden, and the blonde's is Silver. Boss Man wants to have them work in the nightclub as singers and dancers. Now the girls go on a shopping trip with an interesting crowd of backup dancers as they sing their own Broadway number. Not really sure if their singing is what's making everyone dance or if this is just a production thing. During their exciting dance number, Silver falls down and a handsome guitarist helps her up. Seems like there may be something there. Back in the changing room, the girls are getting ready for their first stage appearance. Somehow, without speaking, the sisters seem to know what the other one's thinking. The brunette has an unsettling look on her face as she asks Silver if she would want to eat him, but she doesn't answer. Their act, Figs and Dates, goes on, and Boss Man introduces them. They're on stage with the female singer, Prisia and everyone seems to be enjoying their show. But the big surprise came next when the girls hopped into a giant martini glass full of water, revealing that they were beautiful mermaids. Now to end everything, the guitarist leans up and shares a kiss with Silver, which earns a strange and potentially dangerous look from her sister Golden. Afterwards, they're in the changing room, and Chrissy is telling them how proud she is of their first show. However, something about Golden just seems off. We see a man outside having a cigarette. He has some large scars on his head. Later on, the mermaids are at their house with their three friends. Everyone seems pretty normal, but Golden continues to sulk and seem off. She begins singing a song about how she's lonely and sad. It seems like she misses the water, and being a human like her sister isn't her ideal life. She's walking around the house singing her song as everyone seems frozen in time, but her sister Silver heard what she was saying the entire time. Golden hops into the bathtub so that she can feel like her normal self again. Next, we see Golden head into a bar. She approaches a man and makes intense eye contact with him. Her signal is noted, and they go out to the man's car. But not before she's awkwardly approached by a man claiming to be hung up on her. With some weird siren magic, she tells him that she loves the man but not to tell anyone. Silver tries to find her sister but instead finds her blonde guitarist having an enjoyable time with the lead singer, Chrissia. Afterwards, Chrissia pulls him into the bathroom and gets into the tub, turning into her mermaid form. She wants him to be intimate with her, but he says that he can't because she's like a fish to him. Even with that, he says that he likes her and wishes that he could see her in a different way. She seems to understand and pull off one of her scales, holding it up and saying that if he kissed her, he could be the first four-handed bass player in the world. Cut to Golden and her current excursion. The man from the bar drove them to a lake where instead of pleasure, he only found pain in the form of her eating him. She then slinks into the water. Silver and the guitarist Mytek are on the stage alone, with no audience in the room to watch him. They're singing to each other that same song she sang to him in the bathroom. It seems like her music has wooed him, 
and she takes him for a dip in the tub together. Afterwards, Golden approaches her sister, a drop of blood on her lips from the recent human snack, another night, and another performance, as the sisters are putting on a fun show that gets the entire crowd up and dancing like they're on numerous drugs. Golden keeps seeing the guy from the alley with the scars on his head. He's caught her interest. He tells her that he's her blood, and he has horns under his skin, which is where the big scars come from. He says that a fisherman tore one off and he cut the other himself. Now he flatters her by saying she's beautiful, and has even a more beautiful tale, and asks her to sing for his band. We hear him say that if her sister falls for my tech, and he breaks her heart, that she'll turn into sea foam and die. Well, this clearly worries her. Golden goes outside that night, and is confronted by a policewoman that had been watching him in the nightclub. She says that she knows that she ate a citizen the other evening. She uses her beautiful siren voice to distract the woman, causing her to dance and chase her. She takes her back to her place where they enjoy each other's company, holding a gun to Golden's head. Everyone seems to be feeling a certain kind of way about the sisters, as Chris is dreaming about them and feeling jealous when she thinks that the others have been intimate with them. The trio and the sisters have an interesting jam session while watching TV. Suddenly, the news comes on, showing the scene from her eating the man at the lake. Everyone in the room seems to realize that it's one of the girls, specifically Golden. Golden realizes that the others probably know it was here, and leaves the room. Silver panics slightly and begins asking Krisha why they don't ever get to do anything fun or get paid for their services. Silver's emotions are high, and so are her sisters as she confronts him in the other room. Both of their teeth are sharp, and they repeat some mermaid song to each other before the drummer walks in and punches them both, knocking them out. It seems like they thought they were dead from one punch. The trio rolls them inside a rug and throws them over a bridge into the water. Afterwards, the three band members can be seen fighting with each other at their apartment. The girls, of course, aren't dead and crawl up the riverbank. They find a pair of men having some alone time, making easy sacrifices and dinners to replenish their energy. Silver doesn't seem to be enjoying the flesh of a man very much. Now a random woman shows up and gives them all fluids after their drug-induced fist fight. Later on, Silver and Golden can be seen approaching the nightclub. When they enter the dressing room, the three band members are clearly surprised. Silver gives Mytek a hug and the drummer apologizes to Golden. She says that they aren't mad and then quickly bites his thumb off. Silver now can be found hammering back shots of vodka to drown her stresses away, considering her friends did try to kill her. She has a smoke and tells a man at the bar that when she gets her real human legs and parts, that he can have her fish tail. Meanwhile, Golden has gone back to find her man with the cut off horns. He's the singer of a metal band. She fits well into that metal scene, especially when her crazy mermaid teeth come out. As part of his final act, the horn man pulls out a dove, goes Osborne, and bites his head off, chanting his name, Triton. Afterwards, he tells her that she needs a lot of practice. Next, the sisters are donning their tails, having a fun photo shoot together, but Golden is still not happy. Golden tells her sister through their mermaid telepathy that Triton said she would lose her voice if she cut off her tail like she wanted to. Silver tells her that it's a superstition and that nothing bad happened to Triton. She says that if Golden tries to stop her, that she'll never see her again. Silver and Mytek drive out to a man in some strange building. He's the doctor that'll be performing this tail amputation. Like most of this movie, she sings a song while he cuts into her, separating her from what makes her special. Golden seems to know that her sister is no longer the same and sings her a final song. Silver's trying out her new legs and singing, but no voice is heard. She and my tech don't seem to be getting what they want out of this change just yet. Now at the nightclub, the boss man is saying that he can't have Silver on stage if she can't sing and everyone wants to see duos. Someone should be around. He mentions Golden going solo, but she says that's not her thing and wheels out her sister. Mytek talks to a pretty woman in a production studio. Probably bad news for Silver. The drummer decides it's time for him to leave and kisses Krisha goodbye while she sleeps. Silver's boyfriend is up to no good. He drops her scale and she wakes up, as if she knew that something was wrong. A huge boat party commences for a wedding. It looks like Mytek and his new fling have tied the knot. Surprisingly, Silver doesn't appear to be terribly upset as she's watching him sing together. The newlyweds kiss and Triton goes to speak with Silver. She has tears in her eyes, apparently just hiding her sadness well, that she has to eat Mytek by the end of the night or she'll turn into sea foam and cease to exist. 
He also says that they're only on vacation there, and it wasn't meant to be forever. All the humans are partying and drinking as the band plays. Silver sits on the dock. Golden approaches her and simply tells her one thing. Eat him. Silver approaches my tech, still using crutches to walk around. She reaches out, wordlessly asking for a dance. He allows it, and she feels her carnal mermaid self-rising to the surface. Her sister watches her and Silver hesitates, not wanting to kill the man that was her first love. Golden watches as Silver slips away, dissolving into seafoam, just as Triton said she would. In an emotional fit, Golden lashes out, leaping on my tech and ripping his throat out with her teeth. No one even tried to stop her as she ran off that boat and dove into the water, returning to where she and her sister once came. And that wraps that one up. Thanks for chilling with us on The Lure. The film was produced by White Warnia Film Mao. You drop those comments down below with the hashtag cinema recap and you'd be doing us a favor. Hit a like if you felt it and subscribe if you aren't with us. As always, 